anyway, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to the Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget, mind you, all to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because here we are again. Scrap Mechanic Survival! And it has been released to you, everybody, which is amazing. Hope you guys are having a great time playing it. I'm still loving it. It's a, it's a great experience. Oh, also want to, don't forget, you know, I don't want to forget to remind, uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for all the support and all the videos. Um, it's great to see new faces around. Appreciate all the comments. Hopefully you guys do good. Oh, that reminds me. I have dev confirmation from the dev. There is no way at this point in time to automate any oil gathering. End of the story. This is direct from the devs. I lied to you not. There is absolutely no way to automate oil gathering right now. If someone finds a way, it's a hack or a bug. Um, and then also coming soon is that we will get the chemical um, containers, which will allow us to do automation of gathering chemicals at least, which is great. Uh, if you guys check the community tab, I post the pick up whenever I hand farmed a uh, full uh, interactive chest worth of chemical. And I went ahead and turned a lot of it into concrete. We've got a good amount of concrete coming together. Um, the build that we're going to do for our base is going to be a, a variety of materials, but I wanted to use concrete. I like how the texture looks. And I think once we paint it up, we can do some pretty cool stuff with it to make a nice looking base because I like to have form with function. And that's what we're going to try to go for. We're really outgrowing our base too. Like, well, this temporary hovel. It, we are definitely past the point. I mean, I have enough soil yeah and we have enough seeds and i've had to do more chests and it's just it's getting it's, oh yeah we got these we can do that later we'll do that later um <laughs> that's that's another thing full of water i mean and i've stacked these up and i have this one with water this one had a lot of chemicals this one has all the other stuff in it and we're almost done making all the concrete i can at the moment but um with the release i believe that i'm about to die with the release i believe they added a part at the the beginning remember we couldn't get the log book I'm wondering what the log book looks like. If it's going to be full, if it's going to be pictures of trees, because, you know, logs get it. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let me go ahead and die here right quick, and I'll meet you over at the ship. You guys hold on. All right, we're heading on in. Uh, one thing I should note, too, is one of the tips I gave is already kind of outdated. Uh, they changed the amount of health, food, and water you get when you respawn from dying. Um, they actually lowered it, which I think is a good idea for balance issues. Um, it kind of was a bit OP and I, I still use it like, uh, but like it definitely, you don't get as much back. I think you're about like one third ish, um, which feels about right, which feels about right. So, um, if you're using the thing where you bring the bed, put it down right before you die, then respawn, just keep on going. You will have to do that more frequently. So that's just how it is, man. I'm getting a little bit of nostalgia. We're only like an episode, what, 13 and it still feels like nostalgia. We'll come back and get these chests when we're, when we're ready to come back here, but I want, oh, did they all of them respawned. Oh, okay. Or did they reset because of the release? Who knows? I don't. Uh, they're everywhere. That We should check the little uh, water farm next to it. Look at all the chests, man. All right, all right, all right. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, sorry. We, we, this is not flammable, so we're okay. All right, so we haven't been here in a while. It looks like the fires did not restart. So once we put out the fires, they're out for good. Please let us get the logbook. No. Well, that sucks. Hey, is there something on top there? I see a little thing up there. What is the... Okay. Let's just jump on you. There's something there. What is that? Uh, it's a cup on a spring. Okay. Suspension. <laughs> and there's no way to get in this then. Well, that kind of sucks. I was hoping we'd be able to do something new with this and see what's in here and get the logbook. Um, man, that, okay. Well, then that, it is what it is. Hey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. Hope you're okay. Have you been crafting anything for anybody that might come through? No. Well, I'll come visit you more often, okay? Or you just don't just don't worry. Don't worry. We'll come visit you more often. Uh, well, yeah, it's been a little while since we've been here. Is that wait, wait, wait? That looks like a. Oh, I headlight through that. Okay. Never mind. What's that? Oh, there's some TP. There's a plant. We can come back for that. I really don't want to take anything we don't need. And no, I don't want to bind to you yet. And this was the wrecked bathroom. Man, I remember we were flying on the spaceship and before we crashed, it was such a great. Uh, we didn't get to experience that. But. And over here, we'll grab all these chests. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to grab the chests. They're probably just food and the starting mats again. 
Okay, none of this respawned. Okay, okay. That. Oh, wait, wait, can we grab that soil though now? Let me move. Can I move? Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Can we grab the soil? We can. Okay, we don't need it, but um, we'll take it. Sure. Here, Greeny. There he is. How you doing, Mr. Greeny? There we go. Very nice. In my pocket. Very nice. All right, so um, I guess I'm going to go and grab the, the stuff like that uh, that we have over there. And I think today I was hoping to have something new to look at with the, with the, with the release or whatnot, but I guess that's not really a thing. Um, by the way, I looked at Creative, too. There's some blocks in there, but there's not really a lot more other than the beautiful updated UI, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, challenge mode is still uh, locked out. It says coming soon, so it is what it is. Uh, but, you know, I was hoping there would be some other cool things in Creative that that would be kind of cool and in creative but we'll we'll go we'll see that we'll I, you know there's no big rush the game just released for with survival and the the again i think the beautiful ui redone is just amazing anyhow anyway i'm gonna go and grab all this stuff and then today we're gonna go start looking we got somewhere to look we got we gotta start looking we gotta find the spot the spot you guys hold on all right, welcome back and we're at the first packing station um this has all the basic stuffs i think except no it doesn't <laughs> it has tomatoes, it has uh, beets, it has the broccoli, and it has carrots. Um, well, it has the basic ones plus some extras. Hello, go, hello, goodbye, heybots. And then our trader guy is back there in the distance. Now, um, looking around here, it'd be interesting to see if we find something. Now, normally I would choose something based on the beauty of the landscape and adding a little bit of difficulty, like not so much flat, to add some variance to the build. But since this is the first time we're playing through, I'm going to go ahead and try and go for more efficiency than anything. Um, we're going to now see how far it is from here to the next uh, packing station that has different fruits and veggie tables at it. Uh, which some of them took Kern. We've had a lot of Kern give them, they'd be happy, and then we give them Kern. Oh, I've had some people um, asking comments, what are mats? M-A-T-S. It's short for materials. Uh, we usually, in a lot of gaming, like uh, survivals and MMOs, stuff like that, we call the stuff we need to craft something the mats for it. So if you can't, if you didn't know, that's what it is. Mats is materials. Um, okay, so this is the other, other one here. So, uh, and we want to be near water and a decent access. And then the chemical uh, plant is behind this over in the corner, over the hill and stuff. Um, I'd love to build at that flat farm we found. Actually, let's just pull up. Let's, we, we, we can do this. We can afford it. We can, we can, we can drive up in here. Um, I'd love to, you know, build up at that farm. It'd be kind of interesting, but like, it's kind of far from our first one and the trader. It's also, um, really, really, really hilly. Uh, and this one is pineapples, apples, blueberries, and bananas. Okay, so we know what we got uh, at the places. And I know the trader changes what he trades you, um, like, over time. So, uh, either, like, in some or by the coast would be good to go. Let's go ahead and check the coastal area first. Go ahead on down here. And I want a decent amount of space because I got some ideas, but I'd like to find something that has some sort of defensive qualities to it. Let's go over here. That's a little far. And that's actually a warehouse there. That's actually not too bad. Wait, we're allowed to go there now. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. That's something new. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. My bad. There's a little ramp up there. It leads into the Ember Forest. Um. Okay. There's a little area here that juts back. There's the Ember Forest there. I'd like to have something that has some decent, like, viewage to it. Uh, what do we have over this way? Uh, yeah, nothing yet. That's really yelling at me. It just is kind of like coastal. I mean, we could we could build out into the water. It would be, that'd be kind of cool. Actually, if we had something where we could build in the water, make like a pier and some other things. Okay, this looks okay-ish. What do we have here? A little thing that juts out there. Looks like this actually comes out into the water some. But that's nice and flat too. It's rather big too. That's not actually a that's not a bad 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 little thing right here. I guess we'll park right here. Um we could probably take a corner if we wanted to to begin with and then expand. If we could even make our base like in one corner, like and then do a farm in the other one, and then make like specifically build defenses for the farm first. That wouldn't be too bad. How bad of a run is that? 
Huh. This is a very large flat area. Uh, this this might be again in the in the point of survival right now is just to get the most close to efficient. I wouldn't say most, but something that affords a good view. And this is actually pretty. I like this. Um, and you can't see the ember forest from here, really. So, and we have a good amount of flat space. Uh, we could section it off to again to where things are separated, so we could mitigate mitigate the what's coming in to attack our crops. Because when we when we plant, we're gonna need to plant for real, like. It's, it's like game on. So uh, it's going to be interesting. And before we actually lay, like plant our first crops, too, we're going to end up doing a watering system because I am not going to do it by hand. I'm not going to have, you know, I don't need, I want to have something built into the farm that can manage our watering. Uh, I think that's important. It'd be cool if we had an automatic fertilizer river, too. And this is the way we get out of here. How much in the middle of the road is it? Okay, so from right... Oh, this is right here. Oh, so the... That's actually not that bad. Huh. Huh. Because this is this one. I think that's actually a, a nice spot. Now, let's go inland a little bit and see if we can find anything over this way. I don't want to... You know, you don't just say the first thing and go. You can, but I like to kind of look around and, and see what else we have. Now, here's a trader up in there in that hole. Um. Oh, there's a chest. Hello. What you... I can't move. Okay, I can move now. What you got? What you got? Tomato seeds and tomato. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So let's look over this way. Maybe there's something in between. Like, this is a nice area, but we would be attacked from all sides. Um, if we were up, that would be kind of cool. It would be neat to make, like, a lift. Uh, for our vehicles, but... Well, I guess if we uh, if we make a uh, like a semi truck or something like that, you know, oh, that's just that's just inside for the trader. So there's no like actual building area up top, is there? But if we do our like packaging truck and just like, keep it parked at the packaging plants, I think we'd be okay with like a, another kind of area too. It'd be cool if we could build on top of that. Let's see, and choose a kind of like a not so high area. Oh, is this the way out? It is. There we go. Is that actually like land property areas over there that can take soils? Do we have any soil on it? So we don't. Well, well, if we see grass and stuff, we know it's okay. There's some areas you cannot. Like I, I checked out on the rocks in the, in the middle of the ocean stuff, and you can't you can't put soil down on there. All right, so we take you, put you here, take you, pick you up. Um, can I actually walk up here. Neat. Huh. Oh, look at that. That's actually neat. Huh. Ooh, I kind of like this. Maybe we could build garages down below. Like have a pass we pull up in and have a garage. Maybe have a lift built into the garage and then have... Oh, look at that spot. Really, that might be the winner because I like that view. It's still centralized. It's right next to the trader, too. Uh, I don't know if I can make this jump, but we'll try. Nope, it didn't let me jump. Can we walk up this? Can we walk up this? Kind of, yes. Oh, and it's, it's a little bit smoother up on here. Hmm. This is something to consider just for the base. Uh, we can actually, on this side... Oh, yeah. And then have a walkout come from this? And that is kind of cool, and it's kind of like an island on the land, if you will. Can we run up this? So it is accessible, but it's a choke point. So there'd be two choke points. That would be less traps to have to be put up. The only problem is farming is that trying to get a sensor system built up. Well, actually, we could do something. I have an idea for that and have a timer. Huh. I mean, seriously, like, like just thinking, pretend that's a plot, you know, like. There's plenty of growing space up here, too. This is a serious contender. Hmm. 
and I like the view because we have like the mountain in the distance there, and then the yeah, and then there's the oh, there's oh, that was the other thing. We need water. Okay, okay, okay. Dur. <laughs> I was all excited. I forgot about one of the most important components is water. Let's take the other room. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run around. If there's nothing different, then we'll come back and look for another spot. If there is something different, we'll be right back too. And whatever, we'll be right back. Y'all, hold on. All right, welcome back. Checking out another spot. Uh, I kind of like this. It's nearish to the water, so getting water up here wouldn't be too bad. Um, I'd be willing to build something to get up to there because we don't mind if it's if it's for the the betterment of all. Um, what's cool about this is it's like a corner, so we have like you know like there's no access up through here, or easily accessed up through here. So we have like a corner that would be a safe area and only have two points to defend from need to defend at and what the cool thing is is that this is like impassable hello i'll take you you cannot and this is you know like there's no way bots are going to go through this area um and then this is makes a corner piece for us and there's free honeycombs for every beeswax whatever and we could end up building across this way too and that creates a nice little 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 protection area i like that idea too it's it's really uh that might that's this is another option i think i the view is pretty nice from here and if we end up building i, I wanted more than a single story build um so the view would look be great like across the water and everything all right welcome back and um if you were on the other side of the lake that was over there and I went up on top of the cliff and there's already water up here and Man, oh man, there's so many decisions to be made. Like, there's the other packing plant over there. So it's it's actually decent. Um, there's a corner to it, too, over this way a little bit. And uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> there's some good choices. Like, this way, there's, like, water right there. It makes it a heck of a lot easier to pull it in. Um, again, we give up some defensive with it, but that's fine. Um, and also like, if you guys notice, there's like a lack of stone blocks around. I don't care. We can leave our miner wherever and, uh, build a defensive place for it there. This actually isn't too bad either. Does this come up out of the water? Not really. There's a couple little rocks. That's it. But, um, we can build a place that we like a temporary place, have it protect or whatever, elevate our, uh, miner and just you know mine all the rocks around there and then eventually move it to another spot and just keep doing that for our stone metal gathering and it's not a big deal to me um part of the big thing is just enjoying where we're, we're at you know and making the most of the view and then having it defensible too i do like the fact that one whole side is protected um and where was there that's where the water started at was this a little of the corner i was thinking i was here at nighttime it looked bigger um that's still a decent amount of space. I really wish we could break rocks like that with a drill or something. And to make it, you know, we could elevate the base of the base up a little bit too. Huh. But this could be a nice little corner where there's only a front end on it. Or we could cut walls out to the water at tighter points as well. And have, I just don't want to, I don't want access points to be on two sides. Uh, like two opposing sides. Or they have it be like a corner kind of a thing. Than anything and i wish we could I, I had like way to we could do some testing i guess but we would need to use a lot of soil plots and seeds to attract a large enough group of farm bots to see if they spawn up top and then would drop down um that's another thing i'm wondering too and this is kind of like a corner but not enough it's way too rounded to use i really like the the way this looks though like the nice little river and and drinking some of the lovely moo shake the, the walk shake, I guess you could say. Moo walk shake. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to keep looking around. This is, this has been a good experience so far. I'm glad we're not like just sticking with the first thing and just kind of looking around and trying to find. As long as it's somewhat near our trading posts or packing places, I'm good. We'll make it work. Uh, and I wouldn't mind the water to be a tad bit closer than those, those mountains. Those, those mountains are pretty badass. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down there what you think. Which one do you like better? Uh, I mean, the one out by the water, like the ocean, is, is okay. That's like a, a nice, easy, like, spot. Um, but I kind of like the mountain one, but it, just the water. I guess we could invest in making a whole piping system. I mean, I'm not against that. Huh. Yeah, you guys let me know. I'm going to keep looking. There's, we're going to see if we can find any more interesting spots, and we'll be back. Okay, welcome back. 
and I keep thinking about this place. I mean, I don't, I don't care. It was nice that it's next to the trader. The thing that we need to be worried about is closer to to the two packing plants. But I keep thinking about this area, and I was like, does the trader have water? And he does. So the water situation could be like negligible bowl. Um, if we have just a crap ton of pumps going, come up here and grab like have like you know multiple interactive chests full of it. Um, and then eventually, after grinding enough, we could get enough mats to run a pipe system up and out of there, like a pump and a pipe, like just go crazy with it. I wonder how much we need to do some testing with that then. Well, you know, I was thinking that we could load multiple pipes. I mean, we could use the interactive chest as a merger. And then I don't know if there's a way to push out the, the, the oh, oh God, I wonder if that is a thing. We need to do some testing, like with the piping, like it would be a way to run it out. Can we use a pump to push it out and then have another pump pick it back up, like to continue a continuous flow? I've had some interesting things happen whenever I was uh, working on water before is trying to get um, water to come out of, of an interactive chest um, and then load into like another system. I, I think I really want to go with the mountainous area here, man. I really do. Because I think it'll offer some interesting build stuff. And we'll be able to make it look good too, and we'll also have better defenses. So we'll give up like easy water for better defenses, and I'm down with that. And since it's at the trader, like when we're done trading, we're we'll already be kind of home. Um, I think that's kind of cool, and it's, I don't want to build down below. I think that's kind of okay-ish. I'd rather just build like up high. I, I like I really like mountainous areas. Um, I keep thinking about that. I'm sorry, I keep going back to it like that. There might be like people like, no, you can't. it's so and so and so. And I'm like, well, yeah, but still, there's that, you know. I think the two major winners so far is up there or over here, and I really don't want to do over there. It just seems like you know, I, I, I'm feeling that up there, guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? All right. Uh, I want to do some testing with water stuff right quick, and also I want to really quickly see how much the vacuum tubes cost to make too, and see what we could work out. So uh, let me get back home. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. We got ourselves some interactive stuff together. And wait, who put that rock there? <laughs> uh, deja vu. Um, I brought. I got some stuff together to do some testing with. Well, okay, Kern. Okay, okay. We know you're right after the rock. We're supposed to remember that. Okay, I got you, Kern. I got you. Um, we don't have any. We don't have any moo walks near us right now, so we can't. We can't. We can't use you. Okay, just just calm down. Calm down. All right. Oh, I redid my um my water, so I would get three inputs instead of you know two coming in. Um, it, if you're not in render distance, it doesn't matter. I'm we're at the base though. Usually, I have been turning up uh my draw distance. Um, to, you know, have a chance if I move in this direction for it to continue to work. Now, I'm wondering... How much do you have? And you have a lot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm wondering, can we do this? And will it shoot it out with it? I'm going to give it its own switch just in case. I brought switches. There they are. We're going to give it its own switch just in case. Does this shoot this thing out? It actually works like the water cannon? Are you serious? Urgh. And like, look right here, like I can put that, well, I can just do that on the end of there, but it's not gonna get it because there's nothing that's gonna force it out. I really wish that was a thing. That'd be really, 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 really nice and helpful. Like in the, put in the other connector, it doesn't do anything. Can we put you here and put a pump on the end? Whoa, 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 excuse me, sir. I'm trying to work here, do you mind? All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab this, pop it there, and then give it a pump. Uh, the pump, a uh, there we go, there we go, and put you here. Wait, 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 wait. How did it do that? Is it where's it pulling from? God dang it. So that's... Oh, there it is. It's moving in finally. Oh, it is moving. It wasn't doing that before. Is it because I put a pump on it and that it made it work? I have... Guys, I have done this multiple... Let's move the vehicle over here so we can see. 
I have done that multiple, multiple times just testing around some. Like, not nothing on this level where I brought the pumps out. I just brought out, a, when I was setting up that setup, I was like, oh, I wonder if I could put interactive chest out here. And it would just immediately go in there. Is it because I put this on the end of it that it, it turned it on? Was it that this was still filling up? Is that what it is? And then it had to be filled up before it started pushing it out? Oh, that makes it so much easier. Let me try this. Okay, stop. Now let's put you in here. Hello, floaty thing. Oh, this is the switch here. Yeah, see? See, it doesn't do it. So if I put a pump on the end... Wait, what? What happened? How did it do it and then stop? We gotta be able to recreate this. I don't understand. Why did it work before it doesn't work now? Is there an input on this and an output or something? You guys see what, what the debacle is right now, right? This is kind of a debacle right now. Is it because that's floaty timing in there? Is that why it doesn't want to do it? Like, is it because of that pipe right there? Let's clear out this and this, put these back on. Is it because of that? What's 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 up with you? What's up with you? Why are you, why are you being like this? Let's do that then. Right? I wonder if I have it facing up or the side. That works even better. Okay, there's that. Where's our switch at? Oh, it fell in the water, did it? I saw it somewhere. I need, there it is. Switch right here. Um, and then we'll put the pump on the end right here. Screw it. We'll put the pump right here. All right, this says go out. But if I empty this right now. Oh. Wait, what? Isn't that weird? It was filling up a minute ago. <laughs> uh okay do you guys see what i'm seeing right am i doing you guys are pretty good at calling me out whenever there's something like i missed or something i don't think i'm missing anything here i think it's just being kind of wonky <laughs> okay <laughs> and and now it's not even pumping anymore did i, did I change something here Oh, that's the wrong switch anyway. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, wait, this one's on though. I don't understand. What what is what's the deal, y'all? Can I take out a stack and I'll start doing it again? Uh, okay. Um uh, I was hoping to figure something out with this so we can think about the, get, moving to the new place and be able to do, apply something for the water. And I don't think it's, 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 it's acting right. I think it's acting a fool, to be honest. Oops, there goes that. I was acting a fool with that. And this thing here. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Maybe that'll make it work. Let's turn this off. All right, all right, so we have that. Can I just attach, uh, we'll just attach, let's just put this on there. Let's see if this does anything now with the pump on top of it. No, I don't want to use that because then we get our vehicle all jacked up. Um, and the pump on top, let's remove that, put this here. And then, uh, where's the, I thought I put the switch on, apparently I didn't. I don't understand, y'all. 
Like that should be pumping right now. I'll drink. I'm drinking this for the episode, y'all. Normally when I'm I'm chilling. Oh, that just fell apart. Great. Normally when I'm just chilling, doing stuff out in the world, um, I don't, I don't, don't, I just deal with the with the, with the deaths and stuff. Uh, let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and rebuild this real quick, and we'll come back and see what the what's up, what's up, because this is we gotta work, we gotta work this out. You guys, hold on. Okay, I just rewielded it and put the pumps on, and it's working again. Um. Now it stopped because I think it's full again, finally. Now it's actually filling this up. Okay, so if we put something up here, just for the hypothetical reasons of testing it again to changing out of a this guy to another potential splitter. Can I use a pump to get it going? Uh, this Does this make sense? Why this doesn't make sense? <laughs> because, um, yeah, this is this is weird. There's uh, inconsistency is pretty strong here. Other than my, I mean, uh, just like my upload schedule, you know. Huh. Okay. It'll do that. Oh, wait. Now it's. I don't know, man. I just don't know. See, the reason I was messing with it before is I was just trying to have a spot where I didn't move the central interactive chest and then could have an interchangeable chest to come and just switch out with another one whenever it was full and just keep on switching it out for the concrete building, for the concrete stuff, uh, creation and stuff like that. But this is... Now when I move you, is it going to stop? Now when I move you, is it going to stop? Let me put it back again. All right, so if I put this back... And attach you to... I'll put the switch back here and just use a switch. Attach you to this. When I take you... Does it have to be reprimed or something? The, this is weird. You see, you see what the problem is going on here? So any... It's like whenever I mess with the pumps. I'm trying to use you. Why can't why can't I change you? Why won't you change? Is it because you're on? Something is buggy with the pumps, I think. Oh, I have full inventory crap. Um let me I'm still using these chests here, so I'm gonna use one of these chests to put this in. I'm sorry it's taking a minute, but I just wanna I'm just trying to fit, figure it out. Uh, it, what the, where, where the problem is at, and it feels like it's the pumps that are jacked up. Um, well, actually, my vehicle's jacked up right now, but like, like you know, you know what I'm saying, right? So, do I have to do this? Now it's back into there. It doesn't want to go there. Can I pull this out and it goes in? What is, what is, what is happening? How about now? Oh, it's not connected, Dur. Oh, that was my own fault then. Okay. Dur, that's what I get. That's what I get. Yell at me. Yell at me. <laughs> I deserve it. All right, switched. And then we'll put you over here. All right, so when this fills up, is it going to start pushing them into here? It does. Okay, so when you fill up, are you going to start pushing it up there? It does. But when I get rid of this... Okay. But when I get rid of this, it stops the whole thing, right? Right? This is not going to restart it. I can't change the direction of the pumps after I remove that any of the storages from the, from the chain. You see that? So to get it going again, I would have to reapply the pumps. Okay, so at least we I mean we we know what we're what's going on, everybody. <laughs> All right, this is switched back up. All right, let's attach them to the switch. And there we go. 
Okay, so the pumps get wonky. Okay, great. So we can use a merger system, and we just need to test a splitter system now. And let's just see if we can do this simply. I wish we could do filtered as well, like inside of those chests and do different things. But let's throw you right here. Are you getting filled? Oh, you, got you had to get filled up all the way. Okay. Let's do this to put it back in there and get it all filled up. And then what I'm going to do is put a pump on the end of this. Wait, it's already pushing it up in there. I think it takes it out permanently, too. It's not like it's loading it up or anything. That's interesting. I think a better test would be to have another water thing on the end of this or something. Wait, does, does it just stop it? Okay. All right, all right. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to get one more thing, and then we'll finish up. You guys hold on. All right. Welcome back. And it looks like we are not getting anything out of this one. It is filling up. This one's filled. Why did I put those in there? So you can see we have water coming up in here. Let's go ahead and fill this one with what we have. It'll only take it a second since we're, we're moving pretty quickly. And look, you can see it, it, can, it can handle the volume of two pumps. So we could set up a system that actually keeps that fully flowing in if we have a high volume need with one single pipe system. Um, if we can get everything to go right and the pumps don't jack up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Almost full. And then it switches to the other side. So it doesn't actually do, uh, it doesn't, this is kind of like an overload on this side then. Interesting. Uh, what if I remove you and then put you back again? Does it start coming this one instead? It does. Oh, okay. So we have actually, oh, oh, okay. Interesting. So we can have a priority side on this and then have an offshoot side. So let's say we want to, like, let's say we have this being, like, part of our main defense system, like this side of the output. Uh, that's the most important. And then so it will always take priority on the pumps versus these guys, which will then if we they go to the garden and the garden will get water whenever it needs to be switched on and it'll fill back up fine. Um, oh, crap. I'm doing science, man. Don't hit. Please don't break my stuff, man. It ain't cheap, brother. It ain't cheap. Come on, you hey boy. Come on. Look, there's remains of your other friend. See? Um, so we figured something out. Okay, so the pumps can be wonky when you're messing with a pump on the end of the system. Uh, or even removing containers. Well, that, actually, the containers continued on. I think whenever you add a pump out on the other side of the system, it doesn't like that. And it messes with the other pumps and you can't change the direction. Um, that's food for thought. But you, yeah, like, so if I were, like, right now to mess up the whole system, I could put this on, put this here, attach it, turn it on, and then when I move this, it, it still works. Wow. Oh, it's done now. Wait, because everything's full now. So if I remove you and put you back on, I don't know. Now it's working. <laughs> Either way, that is the topic up for today. I think we found our base spot. We have a way to manage the water a little bit easier. Even if we have to manually bring it up, we'll be able to have multiple chests getting filled up now because we can split it, merge it, do whatever we need to do. We know about it. There's like pretty much looks like there's it's an overload. So that's great. Guys, let me know what you're thinking down below. And I thank you so much for all the support of the series. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'm glad you guys are hanging out. Um, I stream on Twitch, so if you want to check it out, but it, usually it's other games to take a break because we played this so much. So if you like to look at other games, then hang out on Twitch some. Um, I got a link down below. But as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.